Hey guys, this is Brick, and welcome back. Boop. <laughs> Dungeon World. <laughs> that's, gotta be, that's gotta be your opener from now on. Just boop. Hey guys, welcome back. Boop. Hey guys, welcome boop to Dungeon World Severance. <laughs> My name is Brick Perry, and I'm joined here by Juan Burns. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped you. I stopped you. <laughs> Felly Enduring. And Gregor Shade, which is a pretty cool name, actually. Doesn't make sense for a paladin, but I like it. Um, <laughs> in the last segment, Delian won a duel. Well, I wouldn't say I won it. And then okay. Gregor ended the duel. <laughs> <laughs> Rather violently. I was totally winning, though. Totally. And now we skip ahead to the night. You're all kind of settling into your different in rooms, getting all cuddled up in your feather bed. And now I'd like you all to roll. What? Two d six. Oh no! Plus, I'm gonna get stabbed. Your int. Oh jeebus! Good thing I don't. Have Why are we thinking in our sleep? <laughs> no, we have. To, we're some. Something's about. I would have so. been like, okay. you know, <laughs> I I would have been what? careful. <laughs> I also, I also think uh, Gregor is going to get murdered in his sleep. I think Gregor is going to get murdered in his sleep. Thelion. <laughs> roll. Thelion? Okay. okay. So, Thelion. Yes. As you lie in bed, you hear the sound of horses outside. <gasps> they stole Three. our horses. Three horses coming into town. Oh, Carlos! They stop at the front and you hear... You hear the door of the building next door, the town hall, open and close. And you hear the faint voice. You can't make out the words, but you know that it's Alabaster, the mayor. Okay. And then you hear much gruffer voices, three of them. I assume, I assume they're guards immediately. Okay, that's your assumption. Do I hear them as well? No, you're sleeping. You I rolled roll high seven. enough. I'm going Let with me. the highest. This was to decide who heard it, not, oh, okay. not, uh, oh. not like how much it was heard or anything. I just wanted I just wanted to pick at random rather than so pick I a think... favorite. Dude, you don't hear shit. You're so asleep. <laughs> you're so asleep day. that I'm not you're sure you'll ever you're wake up. You're very tired after expensing justice for the day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, here's some justice. I'm tired. Yep. <clears throat> okay, so I hear it. Yes. What do you are you going to react to it or go back to sleep? Uh I'm going to wake up and listen to it. All right. As you press yourself closer to the wall, you can you can start to understand what they're saying. And you hear one of the men one of the gruff voices say, Who did this? Are they here? And the old man says, I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. There's a window nearby. It should point in the right direction. Point That's towards you. the people that are talking? Yes. Okay, yeah, I go over. You move to the window and as you look out you see three men with leather leather armor and two with battle axes and one with one with weapons you can't quite make out from this distance and one of them drops an arm on the ground in front of its horse mm. a right arm <clears throat> and says the ones who did this they must have come here it was but 3 days ago either they're here or they went the other direction and we sent men there Question: How late? How early in the morning is this? Like, this if I, you guys were settling in, this is night now. So, I mean, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, uh, if I were to wake everyone up, would we be tired? Uh, I mean, they just they just kind of went to sleep. There, you guys are fucking professionals. They'll wake up. I'm a professional. Okay. I want to go wake everyone up and and tell them we need to go outside. Five more minutes. All right. You move to knock on Juan Dig's door, who Juan rolled the Dig. second highest number, so he gets to go next. And as he comes to the door. As I am about to knock, he opens it. Because <laughs> he <laughs> exactly. knows. Ah, okay. Hello, <laughs> welcome. Oh, it's just, it's just you. <laughs> um, I say, let's. We need to go outside. There's uh, bandits. There's more bandits that are coming to town, asking let's, about uh, the ones that we killed. I think let's just get out of here quick. Uh, I I go towards Gregor and I say, let's see what Gregor wants. You hear very, very, very heavy snoring coming from inside. With the occasional, <laughs> occasionally goes, Justice. <laughs> Justice. <laughs> Lawful alignment. 
Rory! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a person too. <laughs> <laughs> and you knock on the door and the snoring goes <laughs> and Gregor you wake up do you go to the door I'm hugging my pillow and walking over the door <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys want huh <laughs> I want to keep an eye on the uh, the bandits you can hear the voices raise themselves outside and there's another shout from the mayor followed by silence and the so, slow, steady trotting of hooves moving down the path. Okay, uh, I say, Gregor, we need to... Um, we need to confront these people before they do anything... Bad. <laughs> mean! Before they do anything mean. I say, uh, look... If we if we have to fight them, we'll fight them. But I would prefer not to. If we kill them here, then the others will know that they were that we're on this path, and they'll keep sending people after us. But if we can avoid them, we can probably slip by unnoticed. I, and also I add in how we should pose as like merchants or something somehow. All right. Juan D wants to and, slip by undetected. I know, but also dressed as merchants. Gregor says that I follow. That's my character. We slip by, some or will we try to slip there. by? And if for some reason we get caught, we're dressed as merchants. And we're like, oh, we're, we're you know. Merchants. I don't think we have the equipment to be as merchants. Let's okay. just get out of town and get off the road. Okay. The only well, way out of the building is onto the main path in front of town. The, soon, the moment you open that door, they will see you. But there are some second-story windows <clears throat> you could attempt to get out where like so where do we think they are outside the front or you hear you hear the trotting stop in front of the inn as you discuss mm. you want to point it out on the i mean i would like yeah, to get okay. out onto the rooftop so let's do a little little drawn here we got these red dudes this second building right here is the inn and the trotting has stopped right here and this is where you guys are right now <clears throat> okay now, if you, stop. Hop, if you hop out the second story window, there is still the fence, and although it is no, it is no wall, you cannot climb out of it. There is but I'm guiding my horse and getting out. It's just right. a matter of slipping past these guys. All right, now your horse are tied up in front of the inn, as is customary with any sort of tavern. Your horses are right next to theirs. I mean, are we out on the rooftop? Uh, the windows least, do not lead you to the rooftop. They will, they will, if you go out the window, you will fall down. I thought you said there, like, I could get to the other roof. Did I say Through that? the window. Did you ask no, that I and I was just too busy thinking about something else? I don't think we can do that. I think we just, we jump out the window and we fall. That's pretty much what get, happens. Get to right? the ground without them immediately noticing you because they're in front. Yeah. I say, <laughs> let's, let's wait them out. If, if you guys don't want to confront them, let's wait. Wait till they go inside, then we'll grab our horses and go. Okay, but uh, we'd have to do it quietly. As you discuss, you hear the front door slam open. Broken. <laughs> the locks no longer functioning. <laughs> <laughs> As the door opens, you hear one of the big men say, Here! And then an older voice say, Yes! They were staying here tonight. Okay. Seems like they know anyway. They'll report this back. But I think we should slip out of town, fight them outside. The guards in here may turn on us. They seem to have an agreement. Yeah, I agree. We need to get mm -hmm. out of this town. The guards? Oh, right. Yeah, they're shitty guards, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> they're sleeping or something. They're shitty guards. Nothing happens in Loma, right? <laughs> so uh, can, oh, we, can we get to the front without them noticing? Uh, are you going out the second story window? Yeah, I want to get out the window. All right. Now, it's a fragile window, and it's going to take a little bit of dexterity to keep it from shattering too much when it opens. Wonderful. So who is the most dexterous? <laughs> I mean, I am. All right, Thelian, open up that window. Thelian moves to open the window. Bam! Open. It creaks ever so slightly <laughs> <open>. as it opens. <laughs> 
But he manages to completely remove the glass without it shattering and pulls it back inside and sets it on the ground. It's just wide enough for you to fit out, and as you go out, you fall to the ground, but you land on your feet, all three of you. And now, you are on the right side of the building. Over here. Okay. I hope you don't fight in the grass, because you're the same color. <laughs> all right, well, uh, I, would, I would go like try to peek around the corner. Is there anyone still out front? As you turn, you see three horses tied up next to yours. But no, it seems they've entered. But the old man waits outside. The mayor. I say we just we go we make a break for it. I want to get uh like we would realize that our horses are probably going to cause a commotion, right? And the old man is probably going to make us. A commotion, so, what do you mean? What I want to do is I want to cut their horses loose and then like try to like make get them known. to run away. And okay. then take our horses and go the opposite direction. Okay, so how do you plan on doing that? The mayor waits out front. He will see you if you I'll, step into the light too much. I'll, uh, I'll make sure the mayor doesn't shout. Like, I'll, you know, jump on him and Ooh. make sure he doesn't yell. <clears throat> Gotta do, like, a parkour off the wall and, like, leap onto him and be like, shut yeah, your they... mouth, old man, <laughs> break his neck. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I'm not going to kill him. I'm just going to be like, don't say a word while holding my spear at his, at his neck. Um, I talk with Juan Dieg and say, we can either, like, you know, make sure they can't follow us by injuring the horses or we can just spank the horses away. Yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm thinking just spank the horses away, make them run south, and then we'll head north. Yeah, it depends on how loyal these horses are. Did they buy yeah, these loyal not, horses? They don't look very good. Let's just spank them and get out <laughs> okay. of it. Yeah. Now, Gregor, I must remind you, you feel you feel a deity speak to you. It's dark outside. I, I can't... Tread lightly, Zayn. Oh, says. right. Think of it this way, oh, Gregor. What's his name? Zay- we're not, Zayhun? We're not Zayhun? running away. We're moving to a more advantageous Zayhun? position. Zayun. Zayun. Tread lightly. Tread lightly. What you are doing now, truth, it is not cowardly. But if you are known, so I'm supposed if you to kill known, these horses. If you are known, you must stand and fight. Do not be a coward in the face of danger, or you will lose my blessing. Mm. Oh. It's not really a good blessing, no, no, yes. Oh my god. Not are yet. Just, are you just going to give up your quest on, like, day one? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's not really proven anything. Uh, well, though, it'll come in handy. Let's see here. Let me just I just take a moment. <laughs> I take a moment. Um, Gather my thoughts. How we much? How much how... do I love my god? Okay. Um. I just say, don't do uh, anything cowardly or. Yeah, as long as you're not spotted, this is tactical. This is smart. But if you run from them, like. That's that's a bit that's a bit chicken shitty. Okay. Okay. So, so we, you will have to stand your ground if spotted. So if we if we re- if we release their horses, then we're gonna get spotted. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, don't fuck up. Okay. Okay. So Thelion, you're gonna move to silence the mayor. Yeah, I'm gonna move to cut the horses loose and have their theirs run away. Gregor, are you staying just staying back? Mm. He's gonna go get our horses, right? Or yeah, at least ready. Get them untied and ready. Yeah. All right. As the three of you move out, the mayor notices you out of the corner of your eye. If you want to, if you want to silence him, you're gonna to have to spring forward, Thelion. Yep, springing. Spring that shit. Whoops. Springing to action. <laughs> you <trip>. Okay. <laughs> Unforeseen consequences Crap. are being formed. Oh, jeez. You dive forward and you tackle <laughs> the old man. You meant, to, you meant to simply slide behind him, but you had no time to think. You tackle him down to the ground. He lands with a soft thud. And you, managed to get you, you managed to get your hand over his mouth before he can make a noise. But you think you broke his leg. Oops. I said oops. <laughs> Just look at me in the eyes. Oopsie. Oopsie daisies. Whoopsie. Now, 
I the horses. <laughs> so he's, Wandig I, successfully cuts the horses free. So he's screaming now or something? No, he's he's kind of like. <laughs> but you have your hand over his mouth. Okay, so he's, good, he's, good. he's he's not he's not like getting it out. Good. And Gregor, you untie the horses and saddle them <laughs> up. Get it ready to go. Um, yeah. After as that's happening. Thelion, you you feel something else behind you, another presence. And you turn around. Wait, Wait me or Yes, yeah, Thelion. Oh, okay. You turn around, looking up from the ground that you're holding the dude on, and you see an old lady with a fucking like skillet in her hand. Okay. And she swings it down at your head. Can I duck? You can duck, like, you whoop. can you can just literally headbutt it. And, like <laughs> defy it through your constitution. <laughs> Fuck you! And just knock that shit out of the way. Did it suck him <laughs> I'll, I'll try and duck. I That's guess. Boring. <laughs> <laughs> or actually, I'm gonna try and grab her arm. Okay. You you have your you're pressed one hand over, and you're gonna try and stop her arm with the other one. Yeah. So that's that. I guess would be. Uh, Strength. That's still dexterous. It's a pretty fast yeah, reaction. Pretty okay. And she's not exactly strong. Yes, I am. Okay. If you stop her, she's going to try and scream. Uh, if you her. don't stop her, she's going to hit you in that monologue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, damn. Um, it's a skillet. It won't kill you. <laughs> Literally just I'll, one shot. I'll take, I'll take the damage. All right, hold on. Let's do a quick roll. Oh, well, it looks like you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke roll, kids. It's a joke roll. <laughs> like, so I need one of those skillets. <laughs> fucking your head, your head bursts and you die. <laughs> Classic Oberyn characters. Um, let's see. Oh, my God. <laughs> it okay. thuds on your head. It's not made of metal because it's not fucking, like, stainless steel. That's not really a thing in fantasy times, but it goes, dunk, and you go, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And she looks down at you, and with her weak little frail voice, she says, Do you know how much trouble you're causing me right now? These bandits will come back if they don't take you. And you just... I turn around and, turn around and whisper, If you want to live, you'll shut up and get out of here. She looks at you and says, This is not my problem. These bandits leave us alone as long as we feed them idiots like you. Well, then you just made it your problem. And, what? and justice. What? Here comes the justice, justice man. <laughs> Gregor, you hear that. You hear that. And let, let me, let, let's just say that again. They feed travelers to the bandits so the bandits don't fuck with Loma. Yeah, first I, I look to Juan. I'm like, how did you miss her not seeing around the corner? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know where she came from. She's a shadowy, wiry old lady. She snuck up on Thelion. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. She's a little spider bitch. Yeah, I um, I try. Um... <laughs> You're gonna kill an old lady. <laughs> hey man, she's evil. <laughs> I'm gonna give her like hey. one health. <laughs> she, she's evil. She deserves it. I'm going to. Not to ju- Is there a way to? What do you do? Do I yell at her? I wouldn't yell I, right now unless you want to get into a fight. Ah, uh, I just try to quiet her down, I guess. Okay, what do you say? Oh, by trying to grab her. Ah. You grab her by the arm and she shakes. What are you doing? And her voice starts to raise. I'm trying to... Say, just knock her out. Do you say that one? One says that. I just say that. One says just knock her out. Are you just gonna cover her mouth? (laughs) It's like bloop, and then she's just dead. (laughs) Punch her in the face. Blunk. Boosh. Um, I do a nice, uh, nice. uh, Try to get uh, my my arm. You know the nice choke, nose pass out thing. Okay. Chokehold. Right, don't fight it. Don't fight She's it. She's an old lady. She's not really going to fight back. You get her in a chokehold and you put your other hand over her mouth. <laughs> and she tries to swing the skillet back up at your head. Okay. Take it. Constitution. Yeah, I'm going to constitution that because, you know, me, helmets, right? All right. 
Do you wear a helmet? I guess so. <laughs> I don't know. I, guess I, guess helmet. Helmet. I don't know. All right. Go ahead and defy danger through constitution. Defend it with your helmet. All right. If you don't want to take the damage, it's going to clang off the metal of your helmet and make a lot of noise. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I just I guess I'm just gonna take the damage then. All right, boom! Whoa. Thunks you right in the visor between in the helmet. Yeah. Ow. And it's just yeah, like a right. boom. Uh, yeah. You should fuck my eye. <laughs> and it thwacks you. You can take. Would you like to take it away from her or something? Oh god! Can, no, yeah. uh, can you just make her pass out? Yeah, I was gonna just. Oh, you're just gonna choke hold her. Yeah, yeah. All right, you squeeze, and after that one hit, she tries to swing again, just kind of goes limp in your arms and falls to the ground as you let go. Okay. How many horses have I gotten to run away? You've you've scared off the horses at this point. They've galloped off. <laughs> Gotta go. Okay, off. I say, well, let's get out of here. All right. I say, what about the old man? We knock check him out too. For loot? No. Knock his <laughs> ass know. out, Felian. I well, I say we can't deny mercy to a criminal. Hint, hint. Are these criminals? They're fucking they, making they a deal with a bandit by killing people in exchange for their own. Fine, then slit their throats okay. and let's go. I guess I'll, I'll After you knock them. her unconscious, you cut her throat, just like, you won't feel a thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, Are you going to dispense that is your the justice there, Gregor? Well, first of all, um, they're not like asking for mercy or anything. So I say let's take them with us. Ooh. To where? To, to give them to the bandits. Let's give them to the bandits. Oh, we trade them if we They'll run into bandits? They'll just make another deal. We trade them if we run into bandits. The bandits won't care. They'll just, yeah, the bandits they'll just attack us. It's not like they're bandits themselves. They're simply like, hey, we'll fuck over traitors and shit. These two are at the mercy of the bandits, and they made a bad deal. So let's just get this done and get out of here. Okay. Let's get this done. As in kill them. Kill them. We have to kill them. You deal Do with them however them? you want to deal with them. I don't care, but we gotta go. Okay, I say we just leave them. All right. I'm, I'm right, the they're not man, asking. They're the not asking. Says we leave when, we, them. when we get to the next town over, just you send some paladin over there or something back here and they can <laughs> put this place under martial Follow law or something. Report. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's leave. I knock. Yeah. I knock the guy out and leave. All right. Bonk. The man with the broken leg <laughs> just fucking head sacks to the side. <laughs> and you three get on your horses and gallop off. As you do so, you well, you, you don't gallop, you kinda you canter. You don't want to be too loud as you leave. But as you look behind you, you see the end door, the light spilling out once again, and there they they you hear like a rah as they notice their horses are gone, and they look and they kick the old man on the ground like in anger. Which is pretty you know, messed up, I guess. But he's kind of a sick old man, both of them. So, uh, you guys get out of town. And it's still, you didn't get much sleep. So, you kind of veer off course from uh, mm. Quelldron so that you don't get followed. And you make camp and prepare for the end of session. Prepare for the end of session. Go ahead and subtract a ration. Yeah, okay. Now, my friends, that was a good time. We had some interesting things happen in that one. Very, very yeah. <laughs> interesting things. Nothing I was ready for because I don't plan ahead. Um, now, did we learn something new and important about the world? I'd Bands. say we did. We learned that uh, oh, oh, there's, there's some people. people. There's we must some, go to the Giradium. There's a Titan place. The Giradium Citadel underneath the Titan. Oh right, in the, the, going in the on Girati over there. Mountains or Girati Mountains. Okay, so that's an XP. Market XP, kids. Yay! Did we overcome a notable monster or enemy? I'm gonna go ahead and say no. The bandit leader was pretty wimpy. <laughs> Did I defeat a worthy opponent? Would you say? No. No, I don't. It was kind of denied from you. Yeah, and it's not like Gregor defeated a worthy, worthy opponent. He shattered his fucking sword and stabbed no. him in the heart without like any issue. <laughs> And, and After he begged for again, mercy, right? just fuck you. Oh, um, did we loot a memorable treasure? I mean, are you gonna uh, give me that? Yes, I will. 
Juan de looted a new dagger. A shiny new dagger. Now, alignments. Are you gonna give me mine? <laughs> yes, you made it you made it through undetected. Um Kyle, what what is your alignment? Defeat a worthy opponent. We went over that. Oh the sorry. Um I feel like I feel like you did with the duel. I mean you guys were pretty evenly matched. Yeah. yeah. For the duelish for the duel part, so I'm gonna go ahead and give that one to you. Okay. And Gregor, you certainly denied mercy to a criminal. Go ahead and take oh, yeah. your plus one XP there. Now, will everyone refresh me on bonds? I, oh, right. I, mean, I don't think I've solved any. Yeah, yeah I say I worry about the ability of one dig to survive in the dungeon. That didn't do it now. And just break. put in the world from now on. Yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah. And then Gregor is. I mean, we could. That. You. I mean. I mean. I held my own, so you could be like changing on that bond to I don't like, worry about you and yeah yeah make it something else wandig related go ahead and fulfill that bond does okay. that mean you guys does, both get does, xp does he get xp too i think so yeah yeah you each get xp and rewrite it what would you like to rewrite it about wandig um, probably something involving the fucking heist i'd say wandig since he literally somehow got out of that without giving you anything yeah wandig is nice <laughs> Not Wandy. yet. Wandy I always, fucking owes I always me. make my word. I did. I bought him a horse as part of the payment, and so then then I still need to fence the, bond, the dagger. Make the bond. Wandig fucking owes me. <laughs> well, okay. And yeah. when he that's fulfills just, yeah. the O, then that's a bond. Either that, or if he like saves your life in some spectacular fashion, that sort of thing. You don't have any yourself, Byron. No, I haven't really like. Used Thelion to like scare people with his toughness, okay. and I mean, I didn't really have an opportunity to trick Gregor into anything. I guess. Yeah, and Gregor. No. Anything for you? What are your? I don't bonds? think uh, Thelion's opponent was that menacing. Not really, no. Right, so I don't. He was uh, a menace, but he wasn't menacing. I mean, like scary. I was yeah. trying to, uh, yeah. And what about Wandig's? Um, Aren't wish, you trying to like convert me to the light or something? <laughs> hope you see the true way someday. Ah, yeah. he wants to make you a man of law. <laughs> Haven't really done that. <laughs> no, okay. So that's all the free XP. You all each get the one just for end of session, by the way. All right. So anyone level up? Oh, I'm Almost. Away. I'm one away. I'm two away. I didn't uh, really roll that much. You need two plus seven. It's your level plus seven. How much is that? It's nine. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, I need like three. Okay. Well, that was a fuckload of fun. That was oh, a good awesome. session. That yep. was a fun time. Lots of unexpected shit. Mostly coming from Gregor. Fucking love you, dude. <laughs> Have a good day, or night, or afternoon, or morning, or midnight, whatever time it is for you. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. I'll see you next time. I'll be watching you. And we're done with you, people. <laughs>